Hi, I'm John Park for Adafruit Industries. This is the Formula E Racing inspired My Mini Race Car Kit. The foundation for this car is the three layer robot kit that you get to build yourself. At the heart of it, we have the Feather 32U4 Blue Fruit LE microcontroller. Sitting on top of that is the motor feather wing that can provide the power to our motors. Just like a real race car, it's important to have feedback when you're on the track for system vitals such as temperature. So we've included the temperature and humidity sensor, which contains the TE connectivity HTU21D-F breakout board. In order to dress things up a little bit, I 3D printed the nose and tail based on the stylings of the real Formula E race cars. These are really easy to connect to the layered robot kit. All you do is slide them into the center layer. And that's all there is to it. Once you've built your robot and uploaded software to it, you can control it from the Blue Fruit app. This is from Adafruit and it's available on iOS and Android devices. First, I'll turn on the car and connect over Bluetooth. Once it's connected, I can switch over to the controllers section and choose control pad. I can use the control pad to drive the car. Another really cool thing about this version of the Blue Fruit app is that we can check out data streaming from the car back on the device. So if I look at the top here of my control pad, I've got a readout of temperature and humidity coming from the sensor. If I want to look just at that data, I can switch over to the UART readout and I'll get a printout, kind of like a serial monitor that just shows me those vitals going by in real time. I can even plot that on a graph using the plotter. Now it doesn't look like much because things are stable right now for temperature and humidity, but if I go ahead and change those things, it's a little bit weird, but I'm going to go ahead and breathe on the humidity sensor and that should raise the humidity. And here we can see we have a huge spike going up to almost 100% humidity as the breath hit the sensor. You can imagine this would be useful if we were in a real life race car situation and we are going over the hot tarmac and we want to know what the temperature is of that so we can adjust for the correct tire stickiness. I can simulate the effects of the hot track on the underside of the car. I've got my sensor underneath the chassis and if I use my hot air rework gun at a fairly low temperature but a lot hotter than the ambient temperature right now. This is at 100 centigrade. We can watch the graph as it gets hotter underneath the car. Here we can see the crossing of the two streams as I lowered the humidity and increased the temperature by blowing hot air underneath the car. I'm John Park for Adafruit Industries and this is the My Mini Race Car Kit.